So this unconditional love, this message points to that there is no point to anything. There is nothing to say, there is nothing to talk about, because nothing is compared ever. This is singular. This is it and it isn't. There is no time. There is an apparent time. Everything is apparent, apparent space, apparent characters, apparent feelings. Apparent conditionings, apparent me. <laughs> so there is, in fact, there is nothing to talk about. And still, this is a wonder that these, these talks rise. Everything can rise. Anything can appear. This is a real wonder and unreal. <laughs> This is not becoming. This is whole and perfect. This has no need. The me, the person, has needs, always. The person thinks that everything is solid, that he has a life. The person has a life. And that is not a belief, it's not a conception, it's a concrete body sense, a contracted body sense. The me is looking out from the body. There is separation, a real separation for the me. Here is the me, the position, and there is, out there, everything else. So there is two. There is me, and I am in relation with everything. This is an illusion. There are no relations. This is singular. Oneness. This, this is whole with everything. And everything is the same. It's nothing, nothing special. For the me, everything is important. Or this is more important. This is less important. This is better. This is worse. It's so, so dualistic. But this is the wholeness too. The me is an other expression of life, although it's an illusion, but it doesn't matter. This freedom is already freedom, already, already. This is not becoming, this, this isn't going anywhere. This is indescribable, no one can describe this. And, and no one, no one is here or anywhere or there is no position, there is no location. This is unexplainable. This is hardly describing this or explaining. It's just, it's just a suggestion that all there is is this and it isn't it's not solid it's <laughs> it's unknowable this the room the the view this we call body the feelings the everything everything is just unknowable the me is the knowing it wants to know everything it wants to be safe, to live a good life, a better life. It has conception about how to live, what is better and what is not. It's a so, so strong um, embodied energy. It's, it's very strong. Um, it's learned from childhood. Um, and the me knows only this. 
there is no other other way for the me and uh, for some how to say for some people <laughs> um it can be an openness for this for this message or this something i don't know we call a message or but there is nothing this is nothing and everything simultaneously this is nothing this is empty everything is empty it has no purpose and no meaning and it has no intention at all it doesn't want anything it doesn't need to be what it is it doesn't need to be it doesn't need to be to be <laughs> so it's it's ungraspable it's much more beyond mind and there is no mind this is a label to um, this is beyond understanding and it's really just a sharing that everything is just the celebration of life and not in a positive way the celebration of of i don't know of aliveness the celebration of unknowable aliveness it's which is moves and doesn't move in the same time it's beyond understanding okay and um, <sighs> about this this <laughs> But there is no location and no center at all. But it's rising that um, a few words about this character. Um, it's hardly to remember. Memories are so transparent already. <laughs> already. It's like never happened. This is not happening at all. It's just seemly happening. It's just what appear to happen. Everything is just an appearance. It's not happening. It's real and unreal. It seems very, very fucking real, but it's not. And it's not a denial. Everything is what is, and it isn't. It's not a denial. It's a wonder. It's an unknowable, childlike wonder. Oh, what? Oh, oh my God. Oh, it's, oh, oh, it's so, ow, ouch. Ugh, it's pain. It's, it's joy. It's, ah, oh, I don't want this. But everything can appear. Everything.